Now, let's go a little further. You say, Barry Smith, when we get to heaven, is Jesus still God's lamb? Read with me in the book of Revelation chapter 5. You say, is heaven far away? No. Can you tell us anything about heaven? Yes. I've kept this for you tonight for the last meeting. I'm going to give you something on heaven. The Bible teaches there are three heavens. There's the, there's the earth. The first heaven would be the third, we'll call that the third heaven. That would be paradise. That's the clouds. The second heaven is the starry heaven, the stars of God. And the first heaven is the throne room of God. Can anybody tell me where the first heaven is situated? On the sides of the north. That's why your, com that's why your compass points to the north. That is the throne room of God. Scientists cannot tell us why the compass points to the north. I'll tell you why. All things are held together from the north, from the throne room of God. Did you know in Psalm 48 and verse 2, you know the scripture? All together, we sing it. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. Do you realize when you die, this is what happens. If you're a Christian, your body goes to the grave. You're waiting for the resurrection. Your spirit returns to God that gave it. Your soul goes up to a place called paradise, the third heaven here. When Jesus comes back, the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, the voice of the archangel, the trump of God. The dead in Christ shall rise first. Those dead bodies of the Christians will rise first of all. We which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them. We get our soul back from paradise, which is in a, in a transparency type of a body. The transparency body gives way to a new body. Wonderful. God's going to give us a new body. Amen. Some of you tonight feel as if you need a new body. <laughs> then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words.